Hello, welcome to another episode of Tom's TC, and today I want to talk to you about my Rock Atlas Core 4.0, which I am more than happy with, to be honest with you. And today I thought I'd talk to you about the pros and the cons, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and there ain't so many bad bits about this helmet, I'm well happy with it. So let's cue that montage and get straight into it. Pew. Okay, so this is the Rock Atlas IV uh, core, uh, which is basically black matte uh, finish. And I bought this back in September last year, and I've been using it for approximately eight months on and off now. It's actually a really nice lid. And I also have the Shockwave 3.0 with this, which I must admit is still not great compared to other models like um, Cardo and stuff like that in terms of usability with the buttons and everything else but the quality the sound quality is actually really good I can make calls and stuff like that no problem I still use my tune button with it because the buttons are really really uh, too small on this and the tune button makes it so much better so that's worth looking into let's move back into the actual helmet itself the visor is loads better you have a really nice seamless finish which improves the noise of this lid i think uh, you've got a nice lockable visor as well the better ratchet system which enables you know to put it in better positions i've not had any issues with this flipping up at high speed and the noise overall is really good the helmet still has that unique look that rock has there's a vent that's gone missing across the top. You only got the one vent at the front, which actually has a, I suppose you'd call that a toggle between on and off or open and closed. And you've still got the design at the back with the almost what you would call a spoiler. You also have a vent at the front on the mouthpiece and you have uh, this sound deadening system here. And you've also got these really cool little flappy things which lock you right into the helmet and take away a lot of that noise. You've also got the excellent, but well, I think it's excellent, they call this the Fidlock, and this is across all of their models, and basically it enables you to just literally full on lock the helmet into place and receive it like that. Obviously it's for lazy people like me rather than using a ratchet system, but it's perfectly safe. Like I said, I did crash in the 2.0, so it didn't come flying off my head when it hit the floor, and the, the Fidlock stayed perfectly in place. There's Definitely a much better build quality overall compared to what my old helmet, the two. And I also have the fog anti fog system insert inside, which works really, really well. I've never had any problem with fogging with the pin lock system installed. I've got the clear visor with a pin lock, and I've got the dark visor. I wish the visors were a little bit darker overall because I'm really ugly and I don't want people to see my face. So that's why I like to have a very dark visor. The only other issue I have with this helmet, which I didn't have the two, although it fits my head much better, this is the large and extra large size. So this is a 60 to 62 centimeter. I measured up about 59 to 60 centimeter. Overall, it fits my head really well. But the only issue I have is I've got quite a crew nose. Despicable Me style. When I put the lid on, my nose is still is quite close to that. I got a naked bike, and the wind force doesn't force it back onto my nose or anything like that. It's a really tight, nice fit. But on the two, my nose wasn't as close to this. I've not noticed any leaks on the helmet. So when it rains, nothing comes in, and I've been in some proper torrential rain with this bad boy. The two used to leak like a sieve. But there's a really nice seal around the top of the visor now. The other one you could see like some holes in it. Padding is really good inside, it's really comfortable in long distances. I think a lot of people slate the rock for not fitting their head, but I can't buy a shoey because it doesn't feel comfortable on my head 
or an Arai because it doesn't feel comfortable on my head. The old Shoei that I've got fits really well, but the new ones do not fit my head. And before I went and brought this four, I did actually look at some of the other models of helmet and I just don't feel comfortable in them. So what's the point in buying another helmet that isn't comfortable? A lot of the, the problem is with people is the head just doesn't fit the helmet. The rock cannot cater for every single type of head shape. So this fits my head really well. As I said, it's super comfortable for me. It's very lightweight and I would definitely consider buying another one if the five comes out. There's a bit of a criticism actually. One of the things I don't like about Rock is the fact that they seem to bring out models particularly quickly. It's like they're trying to please every single person on the planet to want their helmets. Now, that's okay a business model for new customers, but your old customers are gonna to start to get annoyed. And I know there's a lot of people that will actually, you know, follow a rock till the ends of the earth. But if if you have a nice helmet that you think is really good and you've just spent near on 400 pounds for, probably more than that with all the accessories and the shockwave, and then they bring out another model, it starts to get a little bit of a problem for those existing customers that can't necessarily go out and buy a new helmet. So I wish that Rock would maybe focus a bit more on their existing models or at least try and, without releasing it so fast to make sure that they've got everything there and, and ready to go rather than keep releasing lots and lots of new models. I believe the 4 is a really good helmet and it's good value for money. It would be nice to see a little bit more come with the helmet. So it'd be nice to chin mount for your GoPro free with a helmet or maybe a couple more options on the visors for different colors and things like that. Rock have just released a reactive visor, reacts to sunlight and dark, and you know, basically a bit like sunglasses that react. So far, the results are really good and people are really impressed with it, but it's 150 pounds. So I wouldn't wanna put all my money into 150 pound visor with technology that I know, uh, well, in terms, of, in terms of sunglasses that you wear on your head, tends to, the technology tends to fade. So it'd be interesting to see how that goes over the next year with people that wear that in really hot climates and really sunny climates. But overall, really, really good. I am mega impressed with this lid. It fits me, like I said, it fits like a glove. It's comfortable, I can ride with it for hours and I look really good in it. I, I think it suits my MT-01 really, really well and it suits me and yeah, overall a really, good solid rid from a rock. I've already done a video comparing it to my two and I also done uh, the the two nine button from the two as well which is exactly the same thing so if you're looking for something to enable you to not necessarily clamber around with the back of the buttons on your head invest in a two nine button. It would be nice if a rock did something where there was a bit of a better design maybe the the buttons are on the side of the lid or it come with its own bluetooth remote to uh, control the shockwave as well. Anyway, I think that's it for today. If you've got any questions, please put them below. Check out Rock's website, check out my website, check out my socials, uh, Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you next time on Tom's TC. Ciao.